Hello all, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing how you can compile a Python script into an .exe file on Windows using pyinstaller. You can consider this a continuation from a previous video that I have uploaded over here. This video, I showcase how you can bypass the latest Windows Defender using this py in memory pe tool on GitHub. The pre-built binary in the output folder is now detected out of the box. And with today's video, you will be able to bypass Windows Defender again by building the exe from the Python script yourself. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's get Python installed first. You can simply launch cmd and type in Python. This will bring up the Microsoft Store, which you can install it directly. Now with Python installed on our Windows machine, let's create a simple Python script to compile it. This Python script over here will output the operating system information. This is a very simple proof of concept for us to compile. In order to compile the Python script, we will need pyinstaller. Let's install pyinstaller with the command pip install pyinstaller. Awesome! By default, pyinstaller is not going to be in your path, so we will need to locate the binary. Okay, this should work. Now let's compile the info.py script with pyinstaller by running the following command. Once completed, the exe binary should be produced in the destination directory. Awesome, it is working as expected. Now let's take a look at the py in memory pe2 again. Let's download the zip file from the github project. As expected, the pre-built exe binary is now detected out of the box after the previous video has been published. We will compile the exe ourselves to produce a different signature. Let's execute the same py installer command specifying the py memory script as input. Take note that we didn't make a single change to the python scripts. Now it is done, we should be able to find our compiled exe in the destination folder. This dialog box is expected because we have automatic submission turned off. We can simply dismiss it. Alright, there is no windows detection so far. We are able to compile and produce the exe binary and even execute it. No issues. I will let the video do the talking now. Enjoy the rest. Alright all, this is it to the video. As you can see, no changes to the scripts were made. We are just compiling the exe binary again to produce a different signature. I hope you all have found the video to be useful. If you need more context, please check out the previous video that I have mentioned. The link to the video will be provided in the video's description. If you are interested in learning about hacking Windows Active Directory and have a feel of how it looks like, there is a playlist available on my YouTube channel over here. It has 4 episodes which showcases the common scenario scenarios you might encounter and what kind of tools you can use to test a Windows Domain Active Directory environment. 
here is a quick shout out to everyone who have donated to my channel so far, either from my buy me a coffee link or YouTube super thanks. Thank you and I really appreciate it a lot. Alright all, I will see you all soon in the next video. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it. Bye.